got, when you've got three people, including Big John Fury, the fighting man, when you've got him in the corner shouting and screaming at you, whilst you've got two other people giving you advice, that means you're listening to absolutely nobody. I thought that was terrible. And really Carl Frock recently blasted John Fury for creating a scene while in Tyson Fury's corner for the undisputed heavyweight title clash with Alexander. John Fury didn't stay silent and challenged Frock and Tony Bellu to meet him face to face. John Quaid was to Bell Bell. And for what can I say about them to them guys come and meet me face to face. I'll eat FR alive and I'll eat Bell alive. And by the way, B got his ass handed to him by Frock responded to the challenge and warned old man Fury to stay away from him or he'd flatten him within seconds. Don't come anywhere near me, nowhere in the vicinity within my jab or you will be getting ironed out. You'll be unconscious. He'll be snoring before you at the floor, Big John Fury, the bed. The latest between these two has gained plenty of attention as this isn't the first time we've seen these two feud. So what did Frock and Fury say about each other? Also, how did the boxing world react to Fury's loss to us? Stick around and watch as we find out in this video. When it comes to the most hated people in British boxing, it has to be the Fury family. Tyson Fury is arguably the most successful English boxer having dominated the division for over a decade that hasn't stopped people like Carl Frock from taking verbal jabs at him from time to time. However, his dad John Fury recently surpassed him and succeeded in becoming the most hated person in British boxing. Right now, most of the hatred comes from Hall of Famer and former British boxing champion Frock, who cannot stand John Fury who has embarrassed himself and his country multiple times. Frock and old John Fury have been feuding since last year, when Tyson Fury was set to face Francis Nanu in a crossover fight at, at the time Fury Sr. challenged boxing legend Mike Tyson who was training in good John Fury didn't like the idea of Iron Mike training his son's enemy, and put up a bold challenge of him and Iron Mike facing off in the boxing ring alongside Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. Don't you worry about that, and if I'm wrong, me and you will fight straight after. Yeah! Yeah, man! <laughs> yeah, me and the great man! <laughs> Whatever the outcome, me and you will fight. Oh, day, baby. Get on them. This didn't sit well with the boxing world, and many slammed Fury Sr. for being foolish and insulting a boxing icon frock, especially was furious and challenged John Fury to a fight, of course. John Fury didn't respond and the drama soon died down after the fight recently. However, the beef between these two reignited when Frock lashed out at Tyson Fury for not putting in enough effort before his undisputed fight with Yes. This prompted a barrage of threats from old John who hates seeing his son disrespected after headbutting a member of Usk's Team Fury Sr. threatened Carl Frock and Tony Bellew stating that they would be next. KFR has a little pop every now and then KFR is a boom and he'll get what the little men get John are you shocked by the amount of people that have gone against Tyson S. Frock however didn't stay silent and he warned John Fury about messing with him. He also criticized the former kickboxing champion for creating a scene when he headbutted a member of Usk's Team Frock emphasized that such behavior is unacceptable and would have resulted in serious consequences in other contexts, particularly in the UK or the US. He condemned Fury's lack of accountability and the apparent leniency shown towards him. Furthermore, Frock addressed John Fury's remarks about him and Tony Bellow. John Fury had made threats and derogatory comments, claiming to be unbeatable and boasting about his prowess as a bare-knuckle fighter. Frock refused these claims, pointing out that John Fury's professional boxing career was not impressive and that he had not engaged in a bare-knuckle fight for over a decade. Frock warned John Fury to stay away from him and Bell, threatening that any attempt to come near them would result in Fury being ironed out and unconscious before hitting the floor. Frock advised John Fury to remain quiet and stay out of trouble, emphasizing that his continued disruptive behavior would not end well. Additionally, Frock noted that while John Fury might have apologized for his actions, it did not seem sincere. Frock was particularly critical of journalists who interviewed Fury without challenging his behavior or asking pertinent questions, allowing him to mock and threaten without facing proper scrutiny. It appears as though John Fury heeded for his advice. Because he stayed out of drama for the entirety of the fight, apparently the entire Fury family has a problem with Fro during the lead-up to the fight against Yus. Shane Fury Tyson's brother also slammed the boxing YouTuber for constantly mocking them. F all no disrespect to Kyle half R. He's got a channel with hardly no followers and he's mentioning an old 55 law old man or 60 law old man, great world champion. What he is you know that's what that's what it's built down to. Shane Fury emphasized that there was no need to degrade fighters and that the conflict should be left to the fighters else. Speaking about the drama involving John first head but he mentioned that there had been pushing and shoving at the wagon about the clash with Yusk. He reiterated that Tyson Fury would prove his critics wrong, showing his superiority in the ring regarding Carl Frock. Shane Fury expressed a dismissive attitude criticizing Frock for mentioning John Fury on his channel, 
which Shane claimed had few followers he acknowledged for his achievements as a world champion on, but implied that first comments were unnecessary and lacked respect the drama between Carl Frock and John Fury is unlikely to end unless they meet up and talk their differences or fight it out in the boxing ring, which will be more entertained for fans. Carl Frock isn't the only one who is a staunch critic of John Fury. Irish boxer Joe Egan, who trained with Mike Tyson, also has beef with recently shared his thoughts on John Fury expressing strong emotions and personal grievances. I would best have in the bar or in the boxing ring because he's in the wrong and you cannot be wrong and strong yeah understand i'm in the right he's the one that's called this fight on and he's the one that's tried to belittle me and there's no money in the bond no he recalled an incident where fury at a film premiere was asked if he knew egan and responded by calling him a fraud and a fake hard man egan felt deeply disrespected by this comment as he considered fury a friend he emphasized his authenticity noting that he never claimed to be a hard man Although others often said it about him, Egan described his own experiences of enduring beatings from childhood bullying to being shot and stabbed as an adult. Despite this, he maintained a principle of respecting others and standing up to bullies a stance that made Fury's betrayal more hurtful. Egan highlighted the camaraderie and mutual respect inherent in the boxing community, which he felt Fury violated. He also addressed Fury's public challenge to fight Iron Mike, expressing his readiness to accept the challenge. To prove his legitimacy, Egan criticized Fury for avoiding formal boxing negotiations and instead proposing a bare-knuckle fight in his barn. Egan believed this avoidance stemmed from fear and a lack of confidence on Fury's part. Egan's frustration was palpable as he spoke about the potential financial and career opportunities lost due to Fury's actions. He recounted Ed his modest earnings as a professional fighter and the significant impact that a fight with Fury could have had on his life. Egan also reflected on his career as a sparring partner for top fighters like Mike Tyson and Lennox Lewis, emphasizing the honor and toughness required to endure such challenges. Ultimately, Egan condemned Fury's behavior as detrimental to the sport of boxing, arguing that the sport needs not only great fighters, but also great ambassadors. He believed Fury's conduct undermined the values of respect and integrity that boxing should represent. Speaking of Usyk's latest victory over Tyson Fury, the boxing world is still sharing its predictions. Presenter Stephen A. Smith recently reacted to the fight. I'm starting to really hate boxing as much as I love it. I'm starting to really hate things about it. I'm continuously missing out on the fights I want to see. This is why the UFC is Smith expressed a mix of admiration for Usk's achievement and frustration with the current state of boxing. Smith criticized Fury for attributing Usk's win to sympathy due to the war in Ukraine, calling it low-class. Smith voiced his growing dissatisfaction with boxing, noting how fans are continuously deprived of the fights they want to see. He compared boxing unfavorably to the USC, where Dana White ensures that popular fights happen promptly. Smith cited past disappointments, such as the anticipated fight between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, which was derailed after Joshua lost to Andy Rees. This led to a trilogy between Wilder and Fury, leaving Wilder a diminished fighter. The recent guest Fury fight also disrupted expectation spans were looking forward to a potential bout between Fury and Anthony Joshua after Joshua's victory over former USC champion. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.